Hey YouTube, Blackwatch Jazz here, and today we are going to be reviewing the Transformers movie masterpiece, MPM-11 Ratchet. Just to move this guy out of the way, so for the packaging, you got MP-11, Autobot Ratchet, Autobot with the Autobot insignia, Hasbro A Plus Transformers. You got the, you got the, I don't, we got the Ratchet, yeah, we got the Ratchet, yeah. Transformers, Takara Tomy. Transformers movie masterpiece got another picture of Ratchet Autobot Ratchet we got what he can do like what just extra stuff that he can do so we got where most of his weapons store in his vehicle mode we got the laser arm attachment articulated hands the arm missile attachments the buzzsaw attachment the movable mouth and just another picture of his face so that is it for the packaging. So, down to the figure itself. It's a really nice looking movie, movie ratchet. Ratchet, yeah. Yeah, it rolls really nicely. Thankfully, I mean, I paid 120 bucks for this thing. It better roll nicely. But yeah, it rolls pretty nicely. So, moving the uh, accessories off to the side here. All right, just got that out of the way. For the details, you got the spare tire on top of the ambulance. You got a nice clear plastic, a nice clear red for the headlight, not headlight, uh, the siren light thingy. You got like this net or not net, but I don't know what you call that. You got a nice translucent blue for these lights up here, and for the windshield, it got. Casting like a really light blue, like where you can barely tell. Got some translucent plastic here. We got some red paint for this and some silver black paint for this. Some more silver right here and some red. The search and rescue and fire department, along with the red stripe with some white on the outline going across the entire thing. And we got some of that. Yeah, some of that. We got some more translucent blue for the front. Here, and we got some silver for that as well. And on the back, we got basically what you see here. Yeah, so, I'm not going to do size comparisons for his, uh, oh crap, so sorry, so sorry, so, so sorry. But I'm not going to do size comparisons for his vehicle mode since it'd take me forever to get my MPM figures transformed into robot mode and vehicle mode. So I'm just going to cut down to the transformation. So you put that tire up. You you can pop this up. This hinges out to the side. Pop this up too. Flip this up. Flip it in. That just tabs in. Flip that up. There's a little tab right here. It goes into that tab right there. And goes in just like that. You can basically pull these out. And pull these out. Pull the windows out. Well, not windows. Uh, the top half of the doors. Pull these down. Take these. Flip them up. Wrap them around the tire. Just like that. You know pop this up and then you're gonna take the legs hinge them down they just ratchet down heh <laughs> pun intended there's a tab right there goes into that slot just like that same on the other leg split the legs collapse it fully and then that just tabs in like that then you're gonna rotate at the thigh a 180 I'm going to ratchet the legs upwards, and flip out these heel pieces, then you can stand them up from there, actually you know I'm just going to do that, yeah, then you're going to take the arms out, untab these wheels right here, then you're going to want to take this windshield, be really careful with it because it pops out pretty easily. All right, flip that up. Then this all just rotate. 
it's supposed to rotate around give me a second all right so I want to make sure that these pieces are clear from the rotating joint then take your time there goes the windshield take your time with this piece because you don't want to stress it out because it's like a really important piece all right now that I got that all around rotate the waist if your windshield popped off so did mine uh no i'm gonna pop that black on in a second you know rotate the head all the way then there's a little tab right there goes into that little slot right there but first compress that down then it just goes in like that then you're gonna pull this piece down just like that these hinge out to the side like that all right we're at like the home stretch I guess so flip this down if your windshield popped out just pop it back in hold on then take the tires they just go in like that okay. there we go put the windshield over there okay rotate the ugh. rotate the arms around all right then rotate these they just go into his sides just like that. Alright, stand. I'm going to stand them up now. See if I can hinge the camera up. Give me a second. There, though, that works. Alright, so there's a few configurations that you can do with these. For now, I'm going to do it the official way. But first, hinge down the elbows. Now for the backpack, untab this. Then this all just goes back. Then there's a hinge joint right here, and this, wait, first hinge this backpack down, there's a little tab right there, goes in that slot right there, that just goes in, then all this just comes down, this just bends, and then there's a little tab right there, little slot right here, and that all just compresses nicely like that. Now, there's also a few ways you can do this. For now, I'm going to do this the official way, and I'll show you the way that I do it. But you're going to hinge that down. Hinge this out of the way so this can go back. Same on the other side. Alright, there we go. Alright. So that's the official way to do that. Now, for these shoulder pieces, this just hinges outwards. Then there's a little tab right there. That'll go into that little peg right there. Alright, now that just sits, it's meant to sit like that. Now, same on the other side. Tab that in like that. And I believe, oh wait, that can just sit like that. Now, I believe I am done. Now, here you have the Transformers movie masterpiece, MPM-11 Ratchet. Now, this is a really good-looking ratchet, I think, I guess. The only, my only thing that I feel like is wrong with it is, like, the, I feel like the shoulders look a little bulky because of these. But I'll show you how to kind of fix that in a minute, in a minute here. So, actually, I'm going to show you how to fix that. In a few seconds when I attach these missiles and since it's kind of mounted in so it's just regular for it to already have it in so his missiles just go in simply like that now you can just untab these and then hinge them out to the side like that and I feel like that looks a lot better and it doesn't hinder the shoulder movement and I just push these back down and they'd hide a lot better on the shoulders. So for articulation, his head can move up and down. Hold on, I didn't move this thing fully. Okay, okay, there we go. So his head moves up that far, down that far. 
it cannot uh, maybe it can do a full 360 but so far it can't and his mouth hinges open like that far as if he just saw his death from age of extinction all right his arm hinges outwards that far he has a elbow swivel he has a bend a nice and satisfying clicky bend at the elbow that just hinges back down all right now for his hands they open up like that there's a hinge joint on each like thumb thing there's a hinge joint here for the three fingers and then there's a hinge joint at the knuckle now there is wait one more thing that that will make this guy look a bit cleaner is you can hinge these down just like that so they don't just stick out that much now he can kick this far his bend at the knee is about uh yeah about 90 degrees his foot can hinge out has a bit of a pivot he has a waist swivel and now we can do a beautiful spread jobby reference right there it'll make a like and a comment if you get that all right and i think that's it for the articulation now for the details you you still have the red stripe apparent here and wait almost forgot there wait no no this piece doesn't like to cooperate with me all right there you could have it like that and you have the missiles right here you got that window right there you know just, just screw the details let's just cut down to the weapons first you got his buzzsaw attachment it moves on the top and it moves on the bottom each are separate now this tab goes into the little slot right there and it just tabs in just like that. Now with his missile, some details on it. It just has a nice electric blue going throughout it. And some nice yellowish look. I don't know. Now to attach his uh, laser cannon arm. It just hinges down. And that just tabs in just like that. And there is him with his weapons. Now for some size comparisons. Here he is with MPM Jazz. He is with MPM Starscream. Here he is with MPM Megatron. And I would have done an Ironhide size comparison, but I just sold my Ironhide like last week. Now, one more thing for... <coughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, now, one more thing for the... For this guy. There is some die cast metal on the thighs right here. And then more right here. And then for his his feet are also made of die cast metal. And that's about it. My review off the Transformers movie masterpiece MPM 11 Ratchet. Now, would I recommend this guy? Definitely. And if if you're not that much of a Bayverse fan and you're just kind of on this guy, then you you shouldn't get. It. I mean, I don't know. It's a hundred twenty dollars. Well, that was my review. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Also, tell me if you want to see more MPM reviews. Bye.